Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike with SmartOptionTrading.com. It is Friday. Happy Friday, everybody, the 12th of June. And this is our weekly VCAP video, and it goes out to everybody that is a member as well as everybody on my email list. First of all, if you want to learn more about me, please come visit my website. Come visit Live Trading Alerts. We have private Twitter feed. We have a room that is just fabulous. Lots of great ideas there. Uh, trades, option flow, news, everything all comes in at once. There's a special there. If you sign up, you want to give me a try, please come take a check me out at smartoptiontrading.com. All right, so let's go forward from here. This week, let's just go into the week that was. So this week, we came into a market and we came into a very hot market after that big gap up, right? We spent four days here trapping the, sh the longs, right? And then after the Fed, we gapped down. So what happened after the Fed? The Fed was extremely accommodative. The Fed was good. Jerome Powell spoke and it sold off. By the way, when the market sells off after Powell speaks, we almost always gap down badly the next day. How badly this time? Well, this time we got a 7% drop in the market before it started to recover. We have now created a possible island top. What's an island top? Well, it's when you gap up and gap down, leaving everybody who bought up in this area along the markets and stuck. So what does this mean from here? Well, we came down yesterday. We, we barely touched and held the 200 day. Today, we gapped up big, sold off after the open and are right now back just on the 200 day. And you know we're kind of just above it trading here and volume was very big the last two days. You can see the volume has picked up 200 uh, million shares yesterday. Today, we're over 144 with 30 minutes, 35 minutes to go. This is distribution volume. Where do we go from here? I don't know. I do know now that we lost the eight and the 21 day. We're clinging to the 200 day. So right now we have support there. As long as that holds, I'm hopeful the market can push back up. But if that can't hold, then I would look for the market to come down and try to retest this FIB level at 293 area where it has held before. You got your 100 day there and your 50 day there. That seems to be the likely target if we were to pull back any further. Okay. So what was this week about? This week was about rotation. We talked about coming into a hot market. The market was extended this week. It was hot. The oscillators were hot. The put the call was raging. That means there was tremendous amount of FOMO. FOMO is fear of missing out. When you look at the oscillator here, you can see we're all the way up here at plus 330 plus on the on the SPY. And now we came all the way down to the, a or slightly oversold reading. And now we're at 41 in the neutral zone. So you can see the big, the big drop that we got on this action, which is exactly what we needed. What was in play this week? It depended what you, depended what you like, but we saw a rotation into the big fang names that hadn't participated. Apple put a new all-time high in this week. There were trades there. Microsoft put a new all-time high then this week. There was trades there. Square provided a couple of nice trades this week as it rode the eight day until it broke down here. I traded TQQQ a bunch, including today, and made nice money on that all week. You know, this week provided lots of things to do depending on what you were looking at. There was just lots of different things to do there. AMD got within 27 cents of its all time high on Wednesday before it reversed. And that was kind of a little telltale warning sign that it couldn't break out there. Same thing for NVIDIA. You know, NVIDIA also put a new all time high in this week. So what happened this week is we saw this rotation into select names. Breath was bad while this was happening, right? We had Amazon join that party as well. Breath was bad while all these names were making their new all-time highs and we came back in. And so what's going on now? Mark is trying to decide what it thinks, what it wants to do from here. You know, we flushed a lot of longs out of this market in the last two days. We've gotten people probably loaded up for bear again in this market, which we haven't had now for a while. So, you know, maybe we come in, maybe we get a nice little drop on Monday and we come back up. It depends what we're looking for. I continue to keep my eyes on this DraftKing, which is going sideways, slowly drifting down, but hasn't fallen apart. Uh, we expect that tries to move when we get some more news. The QQQs for what it's worth has been stronger. Okay, much better in action there. That thing's holding in very, very well so far, still above the 21 day. And the IWM is the one that was the leader. It's the first one to go. You actually create a little island top here on this candle where you gapped up into it and gapped down from it and created this fall. Now you have this big island area up here where you've created this big, big, big area. Bottom line, it's a time to be more careful, but it's a time to create shopping lists. The VIX has gone back up. It's up into the 40 range coming off here quickly today. But it's a time to be more careful, but you should have lists. You should have names you think you want to buy, what you might want to own, 
as you go forward. If you've missed out on this, this is the time to look. You know, last week they, there was $5 trillion still sitting on the sidelines. That money is looking for somewhere to go. We'll see if this provides it. A lot of this going on here is because they didn't like Powell's gloomy outlook on the economy. And also because there's a lot of media talk about a second wave, even though it's unclear whether how real it is. There's a lot of media hype. You look at the headlines, but you read the details. It's not really anywhere near like it was. As somebody who lives in the New York City, New Jersey area, I know exactly how it was and what's still going on in this area. And we're just starting to reopen now. And I can tell you that the information I'm seeing from these places reopening is nothing compared to what was going on over here when we started ramping up. So hopefully this is just a lot of hype and doesn't go anywhere. And the market comes back and says, okay, this is all right. So my advice to you guys is go out and enjoy your weekend, create your shopping list. I'll post charts on Sunday, as I always do. For members, you'll get a video as well. And uh, we'll go from there. Enjoy your weekend, guys. Thank you, everybody, for listening.